Hey friends, what's up? It's Sarah Watts. So today I wanted to share with you three ideas on how to fight BPF. Um, have you ever suffered from BPF? So <laughs> as an artist, I call this BPF. It's blank page fear. I am sure that you've experienced this at some point when you go to draw something and you're like, I don't know what to draw. And I'm also terrified to draw because this blank page makes me feel like it has to be perfect. Um, so I have three ways to fight BPF <laughs> for artists. And one of them is to actually paint little, you know, seeds or treasures in your sketchbook for you to find later. Um, so basically just little blobs of color or, you know, if you find something while you're walking and you want to paste that into your sketchbook, or if it's just like a simple swatch of color for the entire background of the spread. But what it does is it makes it to where you get to a page and it's already been worked on a little bit. So it kind of takes that initial fear of like, oh my gosh, a blank page, I don't know what to draw because it's already started. So you just get to collaborate with your old self and make a really cool illustration or, you know, quick sketch out of something you've already put there. So I just wanted to show you a couple of examples of that. Um, this one my daughter drew. I'm going to have to turn that into something. But one day I was painting this cat and I just put a bunch of cat shaped blobs in my sketchbook so that I could, you know, come back to them later when they dry. And this was one of the blobs that I made in this sketchbook and I just turned it into a cat when I got to this page and it was fun. Um, another example of that is this spread. Let's see if I can find it. This one here. So I had the prompt to draw a violinist, but I didn't know like what I wanted to do. So I'm flipping through my sketchbook and I see this uh, backdrop. This is from an, like a vintage embroidery uh, pattern. And so I just modge podge that in here. Um, I'm sure you've seen these. A lot of times you can find them at thrift stores, but they have the coolest designs. And yeah, this one had like a cross, cross stitch uh, pattern. So anyway, I pasted it in the background. And when I got to the spread, I was like, oh, this is a perfect spread. I can put the violinist in some kind of interior environment and put some vases there, vases. Uh, Anyway, so that was fun. And it kind of took away that initial fear of a blank page. So those are um, some ideas. Just uh, paint some seeds or treasures in your in your um, sketchbook for you to grow or discover later. Haha. <laughs> All right, so that's one idea. My next idea for you is to um, draw on ephemera. So found pieces of paper, little postcards, anything like that that you can find or uh, that you have laying around. I actually just collect pieces of cool paper and stuff like that and put them in like a shoe box. And then I just go through them and kind of collage them into my sketchbook or draw right on top of them and paste that into my sketchbook later. So um, this, this little, this is a pretty easy, straightforward one. This little watercolor postcard set from Strathmore, you can get one of these and just draw on the postcards. And it's awesome because it's a lot less intimidating. There's just, you know, a little postcard that you can draw on. Same thing with this. This was like a, like a, I don't know. I don't know what this is, but I did a little gouache floral on the other side. So it just makes it fun because you have these little tiny parameters to work within and it just makes it a little bit less intimidating. So this wolf um, design, where'd it go? Oh, this is a good example. Like when I was in Japan, I found this cool looking piece of paper and I just pasted it in here and then eventually came back and drew other stuff on it. So um, lots of lots of fun things you can do with just drawing on top of found, um, you know, paper or ephemera. And then my last idea is to give yourself prompts. Now I do, I, I do this, I have a sketchbook, uh, pro a daily prompt thing that you could follow. It's called Sketchbook Squad. It's on Instagram. And basically I provide a daily prompt uh, photo reference for artists to draw from. And it's awesome because a lot of times when you go to draw, you basically sit there and you're like, uh, I don't know what to draw. Or if you get one of those word prompts and it's like, okay, the prompt is snow, but I could do a thousand different things with the prompt snow, right? So anyway, I thought, oh, well, let's just all draw from the same photo reference. So uh, basically I provide a photo reference with permission from the source. 
and people are all drawing from the same reference and it's so cool to see what everybody comes up with from that one reference. The interpretations are so different and so unique and it's been a blast to draw draw these with everyone. So again, that's Sketchbook Squad. You can check out my uh, Sketchbook Squad website. We have a paid part of the membership as well. But if you just want the free prompts, you can just follow me on Instagram and get them in my stories daily or in my posts. And you can also uh, join my newsletter and I have them in there a week ahead of time. So you can kind of plan out your drawings ahead if you want to. Um, so that's another one. And whenever you have some kind of, you know, reference to draw from, you don't have to think about it. It's just like, literally, this is what you're drawing today. And it's a nice way to fill up a page that is, you know, pristine and perfect because you have something to tell you what to draw. Um, so anyway, those are my three ideas. Uh, one is to, you know, plant little treasures throughout your sketchbook for you to come back to later and, and paint or draw with. Uh, the next one is to draw on top of found pieces of paper or ephemera. And then the last one is to give yourself prompts or, you know, use one of the daily prompt uh, challenges that you see online, including my own, which is Sketchbook Squad. So hopefully those help you to fight BPF or blank page fear as an artist. And I can't wait to see what you make. Happy sketchbooking. All right. See you later.